fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is there. It's G.I. Joe against Cobra, the enemy, fighting to save the day. He never gives up. He's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against COBRA, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up. He'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe last episode, dissatisfied with Cobra Commander's leadership, Dr. Mindbender plotted to replace him with a Cobra Emperor cloned from the DNA of long-dead conquerors. Through treachery, Cobra overcame the Joes, thus securing the DNA of Napoleon, the Aztec monarch Montezuma, and Egyptian general Amon Toth for Dr. Mindbender's formula. Meanwhile, in frigid Siberia, Cobra forces threatened to overrun the Joes guarding the tomb of Ivan the Terrible. And in Transylvania, the wily Baroness stole the DNA of Vlad Tepes and brought his castle down on beachhead and mainframe to cover her escape. And now, today's chapter of Arise, Serpentor, Arise. Holy, beachhead and mainframe are in there. Into the coffin, Andy. Port in a storm. <laughs> Chuck, you out here, something. They couldn't possibly be. Stop, John, and start digging. <laughs> Show we got to keep fighting, you dig? Ah! You're They're raising the drawbridge. That's okay. We'll cross on the ice. Hey, what are those crazy bats doing? Oh, so much for crossing on the ice. Hold them off while I get Ivan's DNA. Vipers on our hands. Huh? They're surrendering? Why fight? We'll be freed when Cobra conquers the world. The worst part is unless we start getting things together, that creep could be right. Duke's men are heading for the tomb of Genghis Khan, Sergeant Slaughter. I'll rendezvous with you at Sun Tzu's burial mound near the headwaters of the Yangtze River. Tell Dude not to blame himself, General Hawk. If we knew exactly what Cobra wanted from those two. We do a better job of keeping away from them. Affirmative, Sergeant Slaughter. We are in the dark now, but we've got to keep punching till we see the light. Roger, General. Estimate arrival time. Take cover! It's Cobra! Sergeant Slaughter, are you under attack? You're breaking up, Sergeant. We've lost contact. If there's one thing I hate, it's waiting. If there's one thing I can't stand about waiting, it's listening to you complain about it. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Sorry to interrupt such sophisticated repartee, but we're supposed to be watching for Cobra, remember? Ah, me and Sue are watching, shipwreck. Right. If them fangy freaks make a move on Alexander the Great's tomb, we'll blow them right out of the water. The only problem is Alexander's tomb is under the water. <laughs> Saved a bundle on fire insurance. <laughs> Delay the one-liners, Polly. Come in, Torpedo and Deep Six. How are things at the tomb, serpent-wise? Uh, nothing but sea weeks staring at 40 fathoms, Rick. The sonar's drawing blanks, too. Maybe Cobra's gonna give this famous stiff a miss. Don't bet your clams on it. Now, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? Ah, 
not exactly an endangered species, but definitely worth watching. What the? Oh no, they was just decoys. More a raiding party off the starboard bow. Friend Sergeant Slaughter. Maintain the perimeter while I penetrate Sun Tzu's coffin. A hundred feet of earth and clay won't stay Cobra from our appointed rounds. Slaughter! 
while I get Sun Tzu's DNA! See how your brother likes this, Simon? Oh! 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 Stop! Please stop! Okay, fine! No! <laughs> Success! Now a farewell gift for Sergeant Slaughter! That's your first mind bender! <laughs> Coming from the drill hole. I'm a hard man to shake, my bender. We'll see about. <gasps> You've been lucky, but here's where your four leaf clover turns into poison ivy. I'm still a thorn in your side. <laughs> Beat the bloody bounder! Bust his butt! Annihilate him! The twins are next! Then let me help you. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no! Uh. How you coming, Sarge? My head feels like it's busted up as badly as that whatchamacallit. This looks like one of those devices Duke and Flint described. My hunch is whatever Cobra's after is tied in to this. Yo, General Hawk, Alpine thinks they found Beachhead and Mainframe. I hope they're okay, Roadblock. They use Vlad Tepe's coffin for protection during the cave-in. We'll find out in a sec. <laughs> they're alive, General. Son of a gun after 18 hours under that mess. Beachhead, I want to talk to you about your deodorant. <laughs> What do you mean? I don't use deodorant. That's what I want to talk to you about. Another master stroke, mind bender? You put my elite vipers through the ringer, the twins got creamed, and most importantly, you lost Sun Tzu's DNA, which was supposed to be of vital significance. As of now, your little experiment is deader than disco! Come, Scrap Iron. <laughs> deader than disco. I like that. I could have been a great stand-up comedian. <laughs> He's right. Without Sun Tzu's DNA... Our new leader will be an even bigger dweeb than Cobra, Cobra Commander. Commander. Unless we find another source of DNA endowed with similar qualities. <laughs> Sun Tzu was a Chinese military genius, the best soldier of his time. If we cannot have his DNA, why not use the DNA of the greatest soldier of our time, Sergeant Slaughter? <laughs> <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Joes, this is General Hawk. Cobra has been running us ragged over the last couple days. In addition to the tombs we try to defend, Cobra struck the tombs of Julius Caesar, Geronimo, and Rasputin. What they want from these tombs, we don't know. But Genghis Khan's tomb is the last on their list. From now on, the name of this game is Defense. Cobra must not pass. Almost complete. <laughs> Soon my creation will be Cobra's new leader. You seem pretty cheerful. For a man whose pet project has been reduced to abject failure. Yes. 
mind bender. Why are you so bloody cheerful? With Sergeant Slaughter's DNA, I will have the genetic matrix to create the perfect Cobra Emperor! You don't have Genghis Khan's DNA yet. And you're already planning to take Sergeant Slaughter's. First things first, Doctor. This has gone far enough. They shall not succeed! This one's the same as all the others, Lifeline. Yeah, it all seems to add up. What'd you find out, Doc? We think we've figured out the reason Cobra's been raiding all those tombs, Auk. They're after DNA. As in deoxyribonucleic acid. Say what? Deoxyribonucleic acid, the chief building block of all life, gung-ho. General, we believe Cobra has the capability to combine those stolen DNA molecules to create an artificial life form. History has been dominated by despots and warriors like Alexander, Vlad Tepes, Napoleon and their kind. The genetic map of their personal power is within their DNA. Looks like they're gonna create the world's first fully cloned super soldier. When Cobra has all the DNA they need, they'll start breeding them by the thousands. Building an army of these warriors for a final confrontation with us. Our chance of winning won't be fine when Cobra joins with Frankenstein. We've got an air raid! Man your battle stations! Night Raven's attacking! Leave no Joes alive! Cobra! time in Central Asia, so let's gobble them up! What were you aiming, fools? I don't want the sergeant slaughtered! At least not yet! Move or be melted! Disengage! Celebration, men. Unless I miss my guess, that was only round one. Another catastrophe, Mindbender! This fiasco has gone on long enough! I hereby order you to abandon your insane experiment. You are under house arrest! Ha! Seize him! <laughs> Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said seize him! Everyone heard you, my dear Cobra Commander, but no one cares to obey. You see, our last attack was merely a diversion. My next will bring them calamity and us victory, and nothing you can say or do will stop it. Nothing. You have a way with words, Mindbender. Continue with your plan by all means. I shall be waiting to reward your genius. Or to have you beheaded for terminal stupidity! I have spoken. Enemy aircraft approaching! And brother, it's a big one! Converge on intruder and eliminate same! Yo, Joe! She's hit! She's gonna crash! Evacuate the impact area! Wait! It's a trick, General! She wasn't hit at all! We've been had by smoke pots and special effects! Come on! Yo, Joe! The fools played right into my hands! Fire at will! Bring me Khan's sarcophagus! Can't let him reel in that fish! Punch through the wall! Yo, go! Careful, 
you clogs. Come close enough to make it look good, but don't damage the merchandise! They snagged it! Uh, let loose, you plastic grave robber! They've got Sergeant Slaughter! You clogs don't know it, but you're in big trouble! <laughs> Such a sense of humor, Sergeant Slaughter. You will be a superb addition to my collection of DNA. Bax, bring him to me! One concussion sandwich coming up! Uh. Uh. What is this? A stowaway? Scrap iron! Dispose of it! No, we need him! Like a hole in the head. <laughs> Dispose of him at once! <laughs> no! Tune in tomorrow when the Joes organize a dangerous mission into the Terradrome itself. Dr. Mindbender's mad dream of genetic engineering is thwarted by treachery within his own ranks. But undaunted, Dr. Mindbender pursues his goal of creating the ultimate Cobra Emperor. All in the next exciting episode of Arise, Serpentor, Arise. E.I. Joe will return after these messages. It's a dangerous game you two were playing. Listen to your friend Chris. Those gates are provided as a warning to let you know that it's not safe to cross. We could have been hurt. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I.